you guys welcome back to another video and as you can see on your screen we've unlocked the 93 overall legend diamond reggie jackson so you guys are gonna get a gameplay today if you haven't unlocked him already all you need to do is complete the new york yankees collection set and they only have two gold so it's actually a pretty cheap set to get and you get the 93 overall diamond reggie jackson here are his stats contact first right is 81 64 for left powers fairly decent for both sides 96 versus right and 82 versus left vision could be better but that discipline and clutch that is insane could be better in the fielding too but that is why he's a 93 overall can't go wrong with that gonna get a head-to-head -head gameplay in today hopefully play a pretty good game too so here we go guys hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video we're gonna go to yankee stadium hopefully here we go ladies and gentlemen hoping for a pretty good game we do get the home field advantage going up against indiana reds 303-373. We're at 406, 235. Hoping for a good nine innings here. And hoping for a good gameplay out of Reggie Jackson. We got Matt Harvey to pitch tonight. First pitch. I basically just pitch right to Ichiro. Either he's gonna pop it out or ground out like that. With my experiences at least. I don't like using Ichiro at all. I'm more like I'd say a home run hitter. I always go for the home. Home run long ball is what I go for. Oh, all right. Good thing we have two third basemen ready to go. <laughs> Chris Bryant gets hurt on the very, almost the first play of the game. First fielding play. Come on. So after today, after today's video, I have to go finish up my Christmas shopping. I know it's already the 22nd. I haven't even started my Christmas shopping yet. So, but a good quick three outs there. We will get to see Reggie Jackson in this first inning. He's batting second for us. Oh. No, that was only two outs. Two guys hurt already. What is... What? Well, might as well Luke, get Luke Gregerson in there. We need 15 strikeouts anyways. Come on. Two guys hurt already. I can't believe how unlucky that was. Two players injured in one inning. When does that ever happen? I don't know, but he has mad... Bumgarner on the mound for him. Probably the second time I've used, I've went up against him. So, but we got a good quick base hit. And now we get to try out the 93 overall Reggie Jackson, the man of the hour. Let's see what he can do. He can get us an early read. No, it's just going to be a pop out. Just because we were underneath the PCI ball part kind of thing. No, not a double play. No. Oh. Did he just randomly quit? Well, let's get into a gameplay right away again. Okay, here we go. Let's try this again. Only went about one and two third innings last game. And we're going to play the Miami All-Stars at 164 and 130. So we get the home field advantage once again. And I think we got Nolan Ryan pitching for us today. So it should be pretty fun. And he's got a ready on the mound today, too. So that's going to be a pretty good matchup for Reggie Jackson this time around. We're not going to pop it out. Well, we get a quick two outs here. Nolan Ryan's curveball is just insane right now. Look at that track movement. Look at it. Just look at it. Woo! Oh. I remember playing It's Top Shelf for the first time, and he had Nolan Ryan up there. And he threw a no-hitter. Without a doubt, a no-hitter. Because Nolan Ryan's a beast. But we're 3-0 right now, though. Oh, and two count to Cabrera with the nasty pitches. And we get him to pop out. That ends the inning. Time to see what Reggie Jackson can do once again. So here we are. Still no hits with Reggie Jackson. But we can change that right now. Yankee Stadium. Oh, circle changed right where we wanted it. But we were just too early. I can't do anything about that pitch. That's an insanely good spot. What am I supposed to do with that? Whoo, man. He just completely crushed that curveball. What? Two to zero. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, no, no, what? Oh, well, Reggie Jackson gets another shot here, hoping 
to get us on board for the first time this game. We really need him to go in that 99 clutch mode that he has. 99 clutch mode! No, 63 speed is not going to do it. He's just not fast enough. I wish he had more speed. But Mark Teixeira could be the guy. He's got the power. He's got the contact versus right, too. Just give us that right pitch. That is not the right pitch. Look good. There's a good rip. Nice. Base hit. We'll take base hits all day. All right. I really need to do something here. It's starting to get down to the wire. Bottom of the sixth. Three to zero. We've held him since that first inning that he got ugh, that he got something out of, which was the three runs. But that was a pitch that I could have hit out. But I dropped my PCI down way too much. Gotta pull Nolan Ryan. I have to pull him right now. Bring in a lefty Nolan. Ryan is gone. Anthony Rizzo is coming up. Give me another fastball in the same spot. Oh, it's a little bit lower. A little bit lower, but. That's what I'm talking about. Base hit once again. That's good. That's very good. Reggie Jackson. Where's the 99 clutch? There's a man on base. There's a man on base, but the 99 clutch doesn't matter. And I don't understand why he went to second with that one, but that's all right. Still 3-0. to zero. Let's get it back. We are really starting to get a hold of the ball now. Two men on, no outs. Oh, double play ball. No. Beat it out. Yes. There we go. That's all right. That's all right. One out. Chris Bryant's up. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, another double play ball. Ah. Not a double play ball, but he gets the force at home. Full count. We are running. Go! Go! Oh! Okay, here we go. Bottom of the ninth. He's got a Roldis Chapman. He's he's gonna close this game out with a shutout. And just gonna pop that fastball in there with 99 miles per hour. Oh my god, Reggie Jackson can't even have a good start to his debut. He had great pitching today. Verlander. Roldis Chapman. Kenley Jansen. Very good pitchers. And now he's just going to pound the fastballs in. This is tough. Mark Desher is having a game, though. These past two games from Mark Desher have been very good. Oh! Three for four for Mark Desher. We're down five to zero, guys. I am not expecting to win at all, but anything can happen. We have a bunch of righties in our lineup, so let's see what we can do. No, there's that. Oh! Oh! Wow! All right! All right! My cutchin can make this a two point game. Oh! Oh! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Woo! Five to one. We're on the board. Let's see some late inning heroics. We're not gonna use We're not gonna use Chris Bryan. We're gonna put in Nolan Arenado, someone with better vision. Come on, let's go. Oh, <laughs> let's go. You're gonna have to pitch to me, man. Oh, come on. Oh, oh get there, get there, get there. Oh, let's go. Man, if that was a gapper. Oh, he's just going to pound that fastball in. Oh, that's tough. Watch this. Fastball right here. Ooh, no, 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 no. That slider inside. Now it's going to be the fastball right here. Mm, we have to, like, swing so early. We had good contact on that one. There it is. That's going to end the game. Pretty good. Ninth inning for us, but it came a little bit late. But guys, if you enjoyed today's video, I know Reg Jackson didn't do very well. But that ninth inning was pretty, pretty cool. If only that Nolan Arenado hit was through the gap, 
it could be a closer game and we could have made a bigger run for it but guys like i said please leave a like down below if you enjoyed today's video and as always i'll catch you in the next one